Welcome back to another video and this is part 22 of the invoice management system app all right so in this video we're gonna look at this in the demo app like I showed you you have these recent invoices okay it's gonna list out six recent invoices that you have in the system and right here is gonna show you all the invoice like the total invoice number Okay, so this is what we want to accomplish in the video. If you find any values in the work that we're doing, you might want to consider supporting us on Patreon. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. I have the codes right here, and that's a sample of it right here. Okay, so we will uh, do this in uh, four simple steps. The first step is to um, have a total invoice variable. Okay, so that's going to do the uh, the counting of whatever is in your invoice object. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in the view. Let's open our view and we have it right here. In the okay, right here, if you look at the demo app, the recent invoices is in the the invoice create um, template. So this is why we import the invoices into the app. So that's where we wanna display the recent invoices. All right. Now I'm gonna go to the view, the invoice add or invoice create view. Okay, that's right here. Add invoice view. So I'm gonna create uh, a variable right here called total invoice, and that's gonna be equal to the invoice objects dot count. So this is the function that's gonna count whatever objects is in this model all right so that's gonna be the count variable so this will be what we have right here okay we send invoice and we have number 16 right in here good so let's move to the next step and the next is to have a variable called credit set and that credit set will be equivalent to or will be equal to invoice dot objects dot order by I'm gonna skip that for a while we're gonna have in the invoice the objects okay and we're gonna slice the top six okay so this is how to do slicing in Python and also in Django right now we will to be able to have the sixth most recent one we're gonna uh, order it by uh, the invoice date okay we can also use timestamp but in this example I'm gonna use invoice date seems uh, I'm gonna uh, use that to I'm gonna autofill the invoice date okay so that will be the day that we added this invoice. but right now that is not the case but that's what we're gonna be doing by the time we are wrapping up this video so I'm gonna paste that one right here as well just below the total okay I'm gonna save it and now we can move to the next step and that is to add these two into the credit set or the context I mean Okay, we have our context right here so I'm gonna paste it okay I'm gonna paste it right here we have not two yeah total invoice okay and the query set good so that's all I'm supposed to do in the um, in the views okay so I'm gonna move down and then copy this other code right here and then paste it in the template so this is where I'm gonna paste it in the entry template right after the forms let's see where we want to paste this okay I wanted to display it right here so I'm gonna um, paste it right after the form um, let's see we have a form or we have a div I'm gonna check this properly I have a uh, a div called uh, with a class of my form so that's why that's that right here and let's see where it ends it ends right here so right after that I'm gonna paste it right here okay I'm gonna um, indent that properly good so I'm gonna save it okay now we are creating an a div called uh, with a class of recent okay so we're gonna do some styling in a different video but I'm gonna give it a class of recent uh, in the in this example and I'm gonna have a span or I'm gonna have uh, an object right here the recent invoice this is gonna be just a, a, a header like what I have here this is just gonna be a text okay that's what I have here then you're gonna have on the same line that's why I'm using span on the same line I'm gonna have 
the uh, the variable total invoice so that's going to be the number 16 just beside the recent invoice okay then we're going to do a query set or we're going to do a follow-up i mean uh, for instance in the query set that is the for instance in this query set okay then it's going to list out all the uh, invoices okay because we have um six we're gonna have six okay because we're slicing this to just six it's gonna list out only the last or the most recent six invoices okay so it's gonna do a follow-up okay for instance in the credit set then it's gonna uh give us the name of that instance so we have instant name we also gonna have the instance dot um, invoice date and uh, we have the instance dot total so those are the three that we see here here the um, the name the invoice date and also the total okay okay let's save it and see what we get on the browser okay um I have to let's see what error do we have payment part on Oh, sorry, I have to just uh, stop this other server and run the other one. Okay, I'm gonna go to add invoice. So if I scroll down, you can see it right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the um, the bootstrap uh, styles to push this to be on the on the right side of the form so i'm gonna use uh columns and rows and columns the form will be on its own column i'm gonna create a row div grass i'm gonna create a row okay and that row will start right here it will be um yeah all of this will be in the same row Okay, I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna end the row. I'm gonna end the div right here, the div class, the class row. Yeah, let's see if it is indented properly. Good. So the first section on the form right here, all this form will be in one column so we're gonna create a column for it give class column as a same i'm gonna give it uh let's say if this is 12 i'm gonna give it uh let's say i'm gonna give it nine and the remaining three will be for the for the uh recent invoices okay so i'm gonna give this nine and i'm gonna end it right here Okay, we're gonna start another one right here. I'm gonna give it three. Okay, I'm gonna save it and see what we get. Okay, um, we have the nine. The let's see what what do I get get wrong here? This is six. Let me see, give it nine and see what I have. Okay, this is not perfect, but uh, in this um, video, all I want to do is to show you this. So in uh, uh, another video, we'll be working on the look and feel of the application. So this is how you get your um, recent invoices um, on your app. Okay, but don't worry we're gonna fix the look very soon we are almost ending this app so right before we end it we're gonna redesign our application to look um exactly like what we have it in this demo app so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to click on the like button give it give us your comments if you have any any comments and um yeah see you in the next video